Hi, my name is Kevin. I was wondering if you could elaborate more on like the difference in gender dynamics between American and Russian cultures, because I think that sounds really interesting. Mm. Uh oh, well, without getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if uh, if you come to Moscow and uh, or St. Petersburg and start working in uh, an office environment in Moscow city, for example, in some of the skyscrapers, you will probably not notice a lot of differences. But if you go like a hundred kilometers away from Moscow, there will be more, much more differences uh, in, 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 in our cultural communications, including the gender relationships. Uh, one of them, generally speaking, is Russian society is more traditional and uh, kind of man is supposed to get money and the woman is supposed to stay at home more. But the general, the absolutely, absolutely gender dynamics is, is now so different. My, women are getting more and more active. My daughter is taking part in all those women forums, which are widely sponsored and become, they became very popular in the last two years. Uh, but only two years, you will probably expect, why like, two years? You'll probably expect it should have started like 10 or 15 years ago. It did not. It's kind of recent trend that uh, people are talking about women in not only women rights, but also women's clubs, women's uh, and entrepreneurial skills, women's training. So it's like special, a lot of special things are going on uh, specifically for women. But this is kind of last trend while you've been having that for for decades already. Uh, but uh, for the larger part, uh, <clears throat> there are more bosses like males in uh, the board of directors in, in the Russian companies than, than females. And this is, not, this is considered a norm. And uh, uh, a friend of mine, Misha, by the way, Michael in, in English or Misha in Russian, we spent some time in, in the countryside house recently. And he told me a story how he was... Uh, uh, how he was supposed to be promoted by an American boss who was a, uh, an American woman, actually. She was making a decision. So he was applying. There was a vacancy internally. In uh, his, He works for Johnson & Johnson, uh, a Russian subsidiary. And um, he was supposed to work, start working in Johnson & Johnson, Johnson, Switzerland. And had, he had, uh, Misha had very strong recommendation from Johnson & Johnson, England. Uh, and was he met all the KPIs? He matched everything. But there was another. There was another uh, candidate for the same vacancy to work in Switzerland and kind of competing for the same position. And uh, Misha was very angry at the American, at the female American boss, not because she was female, but she he considered her kind of subjective. And I said, Misha, why do you think females cannot make up weighted, objective decisions? And she said, and he said, you know, because, you know, men are kind of less emotional. And I said, Misha, stop talking about that. You, you, you're not going to get a job if you if you think like that. Forget that all those Russian traditional values. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of troubles with that American boss who is female. And uh, and I asked him, what was the story? What was the reason you did not get that position? And uh, his boss said, you are not fired up enough and I said what does it mean he said that another candidate was had more fire in her eyes than you so it was a another difference because for him as Russian this is not a factor this is not a decision maker you have to match the KPIs you have to match the job description and when you match it it does not matter whether you have fire in your eyes you don't have fire in your eyes all of that subjective stuff. But for her, it was important. And that was a, an example of misunderstanding, not only across cultures, but also across genders. So she picked up, uh, instead of picking up the Russian man, she picked up an American woman to fill in that position. And Misha said, this is not fair. And she made the decision under emotions and she, she just wanted to, it's just easier for her to work with American woman because she's an American woman. And if he was a, a man, probably he would make a different decision. I totally disagree with that, but this is the way he was thinking. 
Thank you.